Good morning, everybody. Pam here with your Monday morning motivation. How is your week going so far? You're only a few hours into it, so hopefully it's going awesome. Uh, my week is definitely going pretty great. I jumped on a mastermind with some fantastic ladies last night, so it kind of got my fire going. And um, I was telling them my struggles about joining the 5 a.m. club, because I've been joining the 5 a.m. club. Good morning, Patty. How are you this morning? Thank you for tuning in live, lady. Um, hey, Jesse. My goodness, you're on here too. Um, so yes, I've been struggling with joining the 5 a.m. club. I've been working on trying to get up at 5. 5.30 is probably, it's, it's kind of been my wall. So uh, last night I jumped on a, just a little mastermind with a bunch of awesome ladies and she, Kate was like, well, just try 5.15. See how that, you know, just a little bit, just, just that 15 minutes, that doesn't make much of a difference. So I did 5.15 this morning and it was great. I uh, started with uh, like a 20 minute meditation and that kind of brought me to the 5.30 mark. But then I was like ahead of time because normally I do Normally I do my meditation when I get up at 5.30. So um, brought me to like 5.35 to do a 20 minute meditation. And I was like, yes, you know, I, like, I feel like I'm ahead of schedule. So that felt really good. And uh, come downstairs and get some stuff done. Watched a replay of a live training from last week. And yeah, just um, getting stuff set up for hosting a mastermind tonight with uh, my team. So I'm pretty excited. Anyway. Yes, so today I'm going to talk about what is keeping you from winning in your business. Specifically you, me, anybody that is an entrepreneur. Um, the 5 a.m. club is pretty awesome, Jesse. We should uh, we should message each other. 5 a.m. Are you up yet? Get up. Get your butt out of bed. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Mackenzie would uh, join you in that as well because she's she's a pretty motivated lady. I look up to Mackenzie big time for her motivation. Um, so yes, what keeps you from winning in your business? Um, there are two different things that happen. So what you think you need to win in your business and what you actually need to win in your business. So what you think you need, uh, you need tools, you need answers to your questions, you need steps, you need plans, you need goals. These, this information, these resources are everywhere. Um, and honestly, when it comes to information, go to Google, go to you know, YouTube, go to your mentor, I'm sure that somebody can help you with goals and plans and steps and tools. The vehicle is one thing, but how you use these vehicles is completely different. So the thing that you actually need in your business is um, encouragement and inspiration. So that's why, hello, I'm here. I do some of that, a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of motivation. I love motivating people. I love seeing motivation in my newsfeed on social media on a daily basis. So that's why I like to contribute to it as well. But the thing that um, the thing that's holding you back from winning in your business is fear. Simple fear. I know, right? What do you fear? That what do you what do you fear when it comes to your business? So are you fearing uh, just putting yourself out there, being vulnerable, taking risks, embracing, you have to re embrace rejection and embrace failure. Thanks, Jesse, for tuning in, even just for a little bit. Love you, buddy. Um, it's all about fear, right? So instead of running away from fear, F everything and run, how about false evidence appearing real for fear? That's your little acronym, F-E-A-R. Oh, hey, Kate. <laughs> I was just mentioning you earlier today because you kicked my butt into the 515 club. Not quite the 5 a.m. club, but working on it, girl. So instead of running from your fear, how about embracing your fear, embracing rejection, embracing failure? Take the things that you fear about your business, say doing a go live or putting out a really, really vulnerable post about your life and the struggles that you have on a regular basis. Take those and just put them out there. You know, you may fear rejection, 
You may fear failure, but it's in those moments that people truly understand who you are and they truly want to, you know, people buy from people they like, know, and trust, right? So they want to trust you and they trust you when you're putting yourself out there and you're talking about things that either you struggle with or things that you, um, that you need help with. You know, it's just all about it's all about taking risks in life and and it's funny because I made a post uh, it was at Friday about when I did my 5k run and uh, the foam fest run in July and how I I've taken those pictures that the professionals took on that day and I have a like four or five pictures that I've got from that day of me you know in my glory muddy foamy like tired exasperated and I look at those pictures and I feel that empowerment again just because I was just like oh my goodness look at what I did you know and I was so scared about so many things about even starting that run about completing that run about doing the obstacles in that run because for one heights and me don't exactly get along so I was like there was that, what was it, 40 foot, I call it the water slide of doom. <laughs> and I went down that thing and I thought I was, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. And he's like, hold on to your son, hold on to your glasses. You, can, you can't wear them. You got to hold on to them. So I was like, ah, anyway. <laughs> so taking, taking your fears and just running head onto them, pushing right past them. And that's when you, you get places. That's when you push yourself out of your comfort zone and you grow as a person and your business grows as well because you know you are your business. You, I am my business. You are your business. So if you can push past your comfort zone and grow as a business your bi- or grow as a person, your business will grow. So that is what is keeping you from winning in your business. And uh, I know there are some things that I fear and I came across this in a, a simple little four week course that I did uh, from some people in our community. And it's not just open to people in our community. If you're interested in it, um, Mike and Kat Martin put on an awesome little four week course about breaking away from being basic. And they're amazing, amazing individuals that have taught me so many things about my life. And I talked about them, um, I think it was, was it last week? I can't remember. And it was I, I, I learned that I fear success. Who fears success? Like, what are your fears? I fear success. I feared heights at one point. I feared, you know, pushing my physical limits. I feared, I, at one point, I feared doing go lives. And now I'm sitting here blabbing on it to you guys. Like, you know, you're just my besties. And some of you are really good friends. And I absolutely love every one of you. <clears throat> excuse me, but it's all about trying to taking your fears, writing down your fears, write them down, maybe comment them in, in the comments here. What are your fears? And it, it took me to take that course to realize that I have a fear of success, to realize that there are some things that I fear, but I didn't know. Like who, who fears success? Everybody wants success but they just don't know how to obtain it. And if I'm fearing success, then that means that I have to take that fear and I have to push past it. I have to figure out why I fear success and what is behind that fear and then push past it. So um, I'm so thankful for all of you to be on this journey because I absolutely love doing go lives now. So one thing I'm gonna say about doing go lives, so if you fear doing go lives, definitely do them like, I'd say do them every day. Even if you don't post them, do them every day. One thing that got me through doing, um, not through, but like pushing past my fear of doing go lives was uh, in last spring, I, I did, I kind of started off doing my go, my go live journey doing the 28 days of magic. So I took the book, The Magic. I don't have it on me right now, which is weird. Um, I took the book, The Magic, and I did my 10 gratitude practices, I did the magical practice of the day, and then I talked about it. Whether people were there listening, whether I had a audience or not, 
I didn't care. It was there. And then I made sure that it posted to my page so people could watch my replay. Because the, it's all about replays too. Because you're not going to catch everybody at the right times. You know, you can tell everybody, you know, I've been doing this. I've been doing this Monday go live since February. So I started on my old page and then brought it to my new page because I absolutely loved it, doing it so much. And I loved being able to be held accountable. So I'm going to be here every Monday at 10 a.m., rain or shine, doesn't matter what happened. And I have been here every Monday ever since I started this page and before. So I'm, <clears throat> it's all about just persistence and pushing past your fears and, oh, right, I was going to say, <laughs> sorry, I go, on, I go on so many tangents when I go on Go Lives. Um, the thing that got me into my, another thing that got me into my doing my Go Lives was, um, was doing them uh, as part of a challenge. So I took the one thing that I feared the most in June of last year, uh, our team and I did a challenge and we picked one thing that we were going to do for 90 days straight. Have you done go lives for 90 days straight? I don't even think we made it to 90 days. I think we made it to like 70 or something. No, not even. It was like a month and a half. It's almost been like 40 or 50 days anyway. <laughs> but I did a video every day for all those days that we went. It was over a month. It was like six or seven weeks. And when you, when you uh, do something that consistently and you get used to seeing yourself and you get used to hearing yourself lots of people don't like how they sound honestly most of the time I don't even watch my go lives back I don't I don't watch them I just do them post them here you go have fun this is my value for today this is my value for the week I hope you guys take something from it and I hope you guys love it as much as I do because I love talking to you guys but um on that note I do have a place where you can watch all my go lives you can't you you don't have to just scroll through my feed on this page. Uh, I've actually put them on a YouTube playlist. So on my YouTube channel, on a playlist, I upload them every week. Uh, my Monday Morning Motivation with Pam. They're all on replay, obviously, because I don't post them live on YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse me. I post them live on here and then put them on my YouTube in a playlist. And then what I've done is I've taken that playlist and I've put it on my website. So if you go to my website, pamreeb.com and up on the top oops are you okay <laughs> she just fell off her chair you're okay get up <laughs> so if you go, if you go to uh if you go to my website pamreeb.com and then on the top in the menu it says monday morning motivation with pam replays click on that and you will see every single one of the replays of my monday morning motivation go lives from February every single one of them and then now that I'm caught up every week I, I save this one to my phone and I put it on my YouTube channel pretty much within a couple days you'll be able to see the replay on there on the list it's all in chronological order so you can watch them you can like binge watch them it's like a Netflix series how awesome is that so anyway <clears throat> so those are the th that's the thing that's keeping you from winning Fear, it's simple. So anyway, uh, if you're watching the replay, type in replay and what your fear is. Do you fear success like I do? Do you fear go lives? Do you fear being vulnerable? Do you fear taking risks? Do you fear a rejection? Do you fear failure? What do you fear in your business, in your daily life? Put it in the comments and I, I promise you that I will comment and I will give you encouragement because that's what everybody needs in their business, right? Is encouragement and inspiration. So on that note, thank you so much for watching. For those of you that tuned in live, I had quite a bit of an audience there for a little while. Jesse and oh, DJ. Hey DJ, social anxiety is your fear. Well, I don't experience that, but I have a friend that does. And I will, um, once I'm done here, I will put in some, um, um, not really, not really like advice because I don't suffer from that personally, but I'll put in some words of inspiration in here for you. Thank you for watching DJ. Absolutely love and appreciate it. Um, but I will be here next week uh, on, I'll be here next week, 10 a.m. Mount Standard Time on this page for your Monday morning motivation to give you the kick and the pants that you need for your week. I hope you all have a great day and a great week. I will see you here next week. Bye.